Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Tish, and here on Alice Ever After, we do lifestyle vlogs. If you wanna know how I made this beautiful DIY wall clock, keep watching. Our whole world will change while stepping into love. If you're looking for ideas on how to decorate your living room, dining room, family room, or whatever room, this project is for you. What better way to display those memories than to create this DIY wall clock? So let's get right into this video. These are the materials that I use to create this wall clock. I originally bought 12 4 by 6 picture frames from Dollar Tree. I should have bought at least 15 because I didn't take into account that the pictures may fall and break. You'll also need command strips. I bought two different kinds because I've never used command strips, have no idea how they work. But this is a learning process and I'm going to find out. Ah yes, an Amazon package. I ordered this vinyl wall decal from Amazon. It was $15.97, however I had enough points built up to cover the entire cost. You can choose whatever saying you'd like. I went with time spent with family is worth every second. And that is so true. When you take it out of the package and open it up, it comes in two separate pieces. So you have to use your scissors and cut the words to match how you want the writing to appear on the wall. I also ordered a clock mechanism from Amazon. It was $12.97 and is fairly simple to assemble. No tools required, which is always a good thing. And I ordered my photos at CVS. I totally got these for free using my extra bucks and discounts. You cannot beat free. Once I gathered all of my materials together, I went through the pictures and selected the ones that I was going to use for this project. I'm warning you in advance that this project is going to send you on a trip down memory lane. I ended up selecting photos from when the kids were smaller. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'll watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay? After I've selected my photos, I place them in frames and then cut the vinyl wall decal. I play around with it until I have it exactly how I want it to appear on the wall. Next, I place the frames around the wall decal to get an idea of how to line the frames up. There was absolutely no measurements used for this project, and that could be problem number one. 
I tried to measure at first, but then quickly realized that the wording was causing my measurements to be off, so I winged it. Now it's time to place the vinyl lettering on the wall. I didn't adhere it to the wall until I was absolutely sure that's where I wanted the words to be placed. The circle represents where the clock mechanism would go. I placed it on the wall and traced it with a pencil. This gives me an idea as to where to place the remainder of the wording. So far things are going great, my wording looks amazing, and then the tedious part comes. Peeling that paper away. Y'all, this was the most difficult, well I wouldn't say the most difficult part of this project. Getting those frames lined up was the most difficult part of this project. This is my first attempt with getting the pictures on the wall and I was definitely not satisfied with the angle the pictures were going. It does not look like a circle. I don't know what it looks like, but it doesn't look like a full half circle to me. If any of you know of an easier way to hang square frames in a circular shape, please let me know down in the comments. Your girl needs some help. All right, so here's my second attempt at getting the pictures hung. Notice the string hanging down. I'm not sure why I didn't think of this before, I used the string as though it was a compass and lined my photos up. Common sense did not tell me to tie a pencil to the end of the string to really use it as a compass until I had all of my photos hung on the wall. Y'all, that was so crazy. If I ever do this project again, I'll know to tie a pencil to the end of the string so I'll know to draw a circle and line my pictures up the way they're supposed to be. And here's the finished product. you all enjoyed this video comment down below if you're going to be creating this DIY wall clock in a space in your home let me know and if you do take pictures and tag me on Instagram we're at Alice ever after yeah tag me on Instagram I want to see those pictures if y'all decide to do this project if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to Alice ever after go ahead and click that subscribe button we would love for you to become a part of our family we do everything on this channel for those of you who are subscribed, thank you for coming back. Thank you for supporting us. We thank you, thank you, thank you. With that being said, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.